Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Joseph Bonner, and today we're going to be talking about best ways to cope with daily stress. Now, I know I don't need to tell you the things that are causing you stress in your life. You already know. So today we're going to focus our show then on just helping us all to just cope, to deal, and to de-stress. Take some of that stress away. Doesn't that feel good when you like take the stress away? So we're going to run through 10 things that you can do right now to take the stress away from your life. And here's number one. Take it one day at a time. Now, too often when dealing with daily stresses, we begin to add to our own worries and stress by thinking about tomorrow, worrying about, am I going to have enough money for this tomorrow? How am I going to pay this for next month? And the problem with worrying about things that may or may not happen tomorrow, it actually accepts us of the mental and emotional strength that we need today to focus on today's challenges. So, Focus your energy and your time on the day's activities, the day's stresses. You know, give yourself an opportunity to properly plan for the future as you need to. But don't worry about what tomorrow will bring because chances are it may never happen. So why worry about it? You know, somebody once told me, and I thought it was brilliant. They were like, do you have problems? And the person says, well, yeah, I got problems. The person says, well, is there a solution to it? If you say, no, there's no solution. Okay, there's no solution to the problem. Why worry about it? You say, okay, well, you got problems. You say, yeah, sure, I got problems. You say, is there a solution to it? Yes, it's a solution. Okay, if you have a solution to it, then why worry about it? And so the point of that is, is focus on the solution. Does the problem that you're facing today have a solution? If it does, focus on that. If it doesn't, well, then there's no worry, no use in worrying about it anyways, right? So find the joy by taking it one day at a time. And it's interesting that you never see your cat or your dog worry about food for the next week, right? You know, you don't see your dog like pacing back and forth in the kitchen. How am I going to eat next week? How am I going to get them, them dog snacks? They don't care. Why not? Well, in part because domestic pets take life one day at a time. So let's take a lesson from, you know, Scruffy and Mittens and focus on the work at hand and leave tomorrow till tomorrow. Now, number two, how to, again, take the stress away is make sure that you're getting some downtime. Everyone needs a break from time to time. You know, actually, and you guys already know this, you know, many companies would be fined heavy penalties if they did not provide their workers with breaks. Well, why not? Because if they didn't provide their workers with breaks, it would actually mean that their employees have a... They're put more at risk of doing things that could jeopardize the company, but also their own health. Complications could result not only mentally and emotionally, but in other capacities when an individual is overworked. That being the case, the law requires that companies provide adequate breaks for their employees. Well, this will illustrate the benefits of taking a break ourselves when we feel that we're overworked, when we're overstressed, when we're emotionally and mentally taxed. Take a break. Now, how long should the break be? Well, obviously, that depends on the amount of time that we feel that we need to be refreshed and to refocus on a situation. So so maybe for some of you, it will be like, I just need to take a movie break today. Or maybe I just need to take a, you know, a break, do like a little mini staycation during the weekend and just kind of refocus and, you know, re-channel my thoughts and, and energies. And that's okay. Some of you who are dealing with certain situations say, you know, I need a year break from this place or this situation. You know what, your body knows what you need. You know what you need. You uh, you probably understand more so the breaks that you need than anybody else. So whatever the case, be sure to enjoy your downtime and use that time to build yourself up and enjoy the good in life once again, all by taking a break. All right, number three. Now, not my favorite one on the list. I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's a really cool one. And that's, regular exercise. Now, how does regular exercise actually help you with stress? Now, one of the things about exercise that I realized when I was 36 years old, I'm 36 now, I haven't turned 37 yet, but at the beginning of this age, I began to see that my body was undergoing a lot of changes. I gained so much weight at this age. Like I was 20 pounds, in my opinion, 20 pounds overweight. I was like 155. 
So I decided, I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lose weight. So I'm going to start running. That's what I decided to do. I said, so I'm going to start running. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So after about, I remember going on my run one night. And after about like five minutes, I'm like, <sighs> I'm like out of breath, right? I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work. I, I'm not running. I'm walking. I said, I have nobody out here I'm trying to impress right now. I'm about to walk, right? So I start walking and I was like, you know, this is so much more cooler uh, than running. I just enjoy it so much more. So I started doing walks every day or every night. And then I started to lose the weight gradually. And the cool thing about it is not only did I lose weight, which took, you know, that stress off my mind and my body. But then I started to also just enjoy the walks, like, you know, seeing the stars at night, you know, just taking in the fresh air, seeing the bunnies that were out at night, which is, you know, interesting for me, you know, growing up in the hood I and mean, bunnies run the street at night in nice neighborhoods. I didn't know that. So it was just such a nice de-stressing experience just walking and, and just enjoying now that's for me now now I go to the gym a lot and that's actually really cool with me channeling my emotions and energies and de-stressing so find some kind of exercise that you can either do at home out in the community or even at the gym and just make it regular you know it could be maybe three times a week four times a week um, but if you're starting to do that you're going to see that it's going to help you with daily stresses now here's another one on my list that again is not my favorite because to me, it's so hard to do. And that's eat well. Now, I'm going to be honest, eating well for me is difficult because I'm bombarded, just like all of you, with ads of fast food. You know, it's so much more easier to get, you know, the high calorie quick meal than the low calorie meal that I have to prepare for myself. And obviously, you know, the body pays in the long run. You know, and we're all super busy. So we want to, you know, eat quickly. But there's a reason why eating healthy actually minimizes the stress. Number one, when you eat healthier, your body's actually able to digest um, that food more properly. Your body's able to actually get um, more adequate rest as well, which is going on to our, our next point that we're going to bring up. And it actually does take the stress off of the body as well as the mind when you're eating properly. You know, you don't feel so heavy and bloated. You know, you don't feel like you've, you've overdone it. And it's actually a really great way to just kind of deal with daily stresses as well. So for me, how I manage it is I try to make my, um, I'm very simple, I'm very predictable. I like to know what I'm going to eat even when, so I'm, when I'm eating healthy, I plan my meals. So I plan my breakfast, which is typically a nice bowl of oatmeal with some strawberries or some bananas. I try not to do the brown sugar only because I feel like it's just a little bit too many calories and I'm not trying to put on all those calories in my body that early in the morning. So that's kind of how I start my day off. Um, for my like lunch, ish I like I like tuna personally like I just love tuna like I'm predictable like I like to have something consistent so I like I do like my little tuna mix you know added some little flavors in it and I like tuna too because it's high in protein and for my own particular like weight lifting goals like it's just a really great meal for me and then sir for something dinner I'll have something again very very light um not not really high calorie so um plan your meals out if you plan them out and kind of make your schedule more predictable make something maybe that's not always so complicated then it's going to help you to eat well and you know take some of that stress off your life all right here's another one and this one actually is my favorite because <laughs> Because I love sleep, although I don't always get enough of it, but I've, I've been learning to listen to my body. So when our bodies are deprived of sleep, it's actually challenging for us to focus on the day. It adds stress to even the simplest task. Have you ever just kind of been like in a conversation with somebody and just every word they're telling you is irritating you? You're like, you know what? You're getting on my nerves. And, it's not that, and they're not saying anything irritating. They're not being irritating. It's just you're tired and you don't want to hear nobody talking to you about anything, right? Are you ever been somewhere you're just like, I don't want nobody around me. I don't want nobody touching me. I don't want you to talk to me. Like just, you're like tunnel. Of it. It's because you're stressed out, right? That being the case, make sure that you're taking in the daily rest you need. Now, I'm not going to give you an amount of hours. Like, you know, some experts say, well, a person needs X amount of hours of sleep. Right? It, and I'm not saying those experts are wrong. But what I am saying is that for me, I allow my body to decide how much sleep I need for that day. So, and I feel like the more that you begin to listen to your body, the more you're going to get to know your body well. And then you're going to be able to determine, okay, this is how much my body needs to rest for me to, to be able to function. You know, so some days I only need six hours of sleep. You know, because the, the day's activities weren't as taxing. I wasn't as emotional. I wasn't as stressed. So my body doesn't need as much rest. And other times where it's been a day, you know, uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, then my body tells me, oh, no, 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 no. Six hours is not going to do for you, sir. So 
get to know your body well. Let your body let you know how much rest you need on a given day or on a given night. And the more your body feels rested, the more that's going to help relieve the day-to-day stresses of life. Does that make sense? All right, let's go with another one, which is really cool. And that's connecting with positive, supportive people. Now, depending on your personality and your circle of good friends, you need supportive people who understand who you are, or at least they try to understand your decision-making process. So this doesn't mean that we're surrounding ourselves with people who only agree with us all the time. However, it does mean that we're going to choose friends who are willing to understand us, who are not judgmental, and who really encourage and support the good decisions that we make. That's the kind of support of people that we need in our circle. And spending weekly time with those kind of friends can have a positive impact on our mental and emotional frame of mind, as well as help us to relieve day-to-day stresses. Now, I'll give you an example, right? You know, lionesses hunt in packs. And they do that because this actually increases their chances of reaching their common goal, which is obviously they want to catch the prey. So if we spend time with like-minded, positive individuals, we can also avoid the stresses of trying to reach certain goals in our life by ourselves when we have a truly supportive collective that can help us reach those goals together. So definitely um, find your, uh, your supportive collective. Take time to connect with supportive and positive people. Okay, here's another one, which I think is also really cool, is do you have a hobby? If you don't have a hobby, maybe pick one up. A positive hobby can be a great pastime. Super cool because it helps you kind of de-stress in your life, refocus your mind on something fun, something positive. You know what's really cool about the body too is that the body actually produces certain hormones that give off the feelings of joy that help us reduce stress when we're doing something that we like. So if you like to sing, take up karaoke maybe. You like to dance, maybe learn some dance routines uh, off TikTok or something like that. Uh, The point is, is that when you take up a positive hobby, it may be just what you need to reduce daily stresses. Now, I don't have a pet, but I used to have a pet. If you don't have a pet and you want a pet, maybe this will be good for you. If you have a pet, then this is definitely for you. Bond with your pet. We've all seen those little cool Instagram videos of the cats going like, I love you to their owners. Are the dog who gets jealous when his other owners show more love to the different pet. You know, watching those videos makes us feel good, doesn't it? You know, because you see people bonding with animals and it's pretty awesome. So if you have a pet, you know, bond with your pet. They're great, great, great stress relievers. Now, one example that was recently shared on social media was of a woman who was afraid of dogs. She ended up adopting a dog that was afraid of humans and together They were able to find healing and comfort with each other. Now, this experience shows the power of pet bonding and how it can even positively impact individuals who've suffered from past trauma and stresses. So obviously, before you go out there and get a pet, count the cost, right? If you can afford one, get one. If you can't afford a dog or a cat right now, try a goldfish. Fish can also be very cool with stress relievers as well. Um, I used to have a fish myself, and I loved my fish until... They were no longer alive. It's very sad, but enjoy nature. Our next point. Now, from a cascading, beautiful waterfall to a flower bed, something as simple as a flower bed, viewing nature is a really excellent way to relieve stresses. So go to the beach this weekend. Buy some fresh flowers for yourself. Take a walk in a safe park. Take a nature hike. These are just some of the ways that you can enjoy the benefits of nature and the stress relief it provides just in your day-to-day living. So if you haven't done that recently, I encourage you, do it. You will thank yourself in the end. Now, here's last but not least. If you find that the day-to-day stresses are just getting too much to handle, maybe you try some of these things on the list and it just seems like things are getting worse. Your stress is intensifying and you feel like you need some help. That's okay. If you need help, feel free and confident to seek a counselor, a coach, or a therapist. If it's too much for you, definitely do not be ashamed to seek professional help. You know, many people get help with their taxes all you know every year because it's too much for them to handle on their own. They're not ashamed of it, right? Many people ask Siri for directions because they don't want to get lost. So we live in a day and age right now where people. Ask for help all the time, even on mundane tasks. 
So how much more so is it important for you to be willing to ask for help on something as important and valuable as your daily happiness, as well as your stress? You deserve it. Besides, it is no one else's business if you're seeking professional help, right? Do what's best for you. So if you need to seek a therapist, coach, or counselor, do it because you deserve the best. That being the case, you guys, I want you to know that even though life is stressful right now for all of us, There are some positive ways that you can cope and that you are not alone. And I know it's so cliche. You're not alone. You're not alone. But literally, right, you're not alone because right now, if you could tell in the world, everybody's kind of stressed right now. So literally, you're literally not alone. But try these suggestions out. Tell me if you if you tried any of them. Feel free to reach out to me on social media. Let me know if these suggestions helped in any kind of way. I hope they do. That being the case, you guys, until next time, this is Joseph Bonner saying take care of each other. You deserve the best and never forget it.